Fans are filing out of the Thunderdome here at UC Santa Barbara and filing out happy 65-57 winners thanks in large part to the guy sitting next to me, Leland King. 22 points, 13 rebounds, very nice game. Thank Leland, you, terrific job, my man. Hey, you went from Nevada where you played a role and you guys won a conference championship in the Mountain West. How has your role changed here at UC Santa Barbara? I mean, I have a much bigger role here. Um, you know, I'm obviously on the floor a lot more. I didn't get that much time in Nevada, but, uh, but um, you know, here I'm a big part of the team, big part of the program, so you know, and I bring some of that leadership from a winning program. Um, you know, the ups and downs of a season, you know, upsets, like stuff stuff happens, you know, last week uh, or a couple of days ago we played Cal Poly, kind of blew a lead. But, you know, I had to tell the guys, you know, keep our heads up. Stuff happens during the year. We just got to fight through it and learn from it. Big performance tonight. Not every player has the skill set to lead his team in rebounding as well as in threes made in a game. How does your versatility fit in with this Gaucho line? Oh, it fits great. I mean, with our system, we don't. You have guys, four guys on the floor that can shoot at all time, and Jalen's a big time, big man, and you know that helps us a lot. I can spread the floor. Uh, as soon as they start coming up on my three, I can drive the ball. So it gives me a lot of different options, and then um, you know it makes it much easier for us to score. You mentioned that you were at Nevada. You ended a long drought for that program, a decade-long drought of getting to the tournament, helping them get into the dance. UC Santa Barbara hasn't been there since 2011. What are you starting to tell your teammates about what it took to get Nevada into the tournament to hopefully get Santa Barbara there as well? I mean, it's a lot of focus. You know, our coaching staff is great as far as preparing us for each and every game. And, you know, sometimes as players you get sick of it, but you have to fight through it and you have to be prepared for each and every game. Uh, our coaching staff does a great job with that. And I tell the guys, you know, we got to lock in. And, you know, we have a great group, a great group of guys who are willing to listen and, you know, learn everything they can. So whenever we, you know, go to practice, we're all focused up. Hey, the word on the street is you change your haircut like every game. Is that right? <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> I try to at least. Do you have the green light? I mean, does Coach Pasternak believe in you to knock down three-point shots at any given time? Yes, he does. That's true. I mean, uh, when I was hitting him in the first half, you know, he kept trying to get it to me. Uh, second half, I struggled a little bit from the three-point line, but, you know, um, I had the confidence to keep shooting them, and then coach has the confidence to keep going to me. And talk about the mismatches, because I, I know with your size, you have bigger guys guarding you that don't really want to step out to the three-point shot. Do you use that to your advantage? Yeah, of course. I mean, each and every game is going to be a mismatch, whether I'm the bigger guy or smaller guy, and I just have to know how to use that mismatch. If I have a smaller guy, I'm probably going to be on the block a lot more than I am up top, and if I have a bigger, slower guy, I could shoot threes and go right by him. One thing we notice watching shoot around, watching you guys in warm-ups, you guys dunk a lot. And you react to each other dunking a lot. How much is that energy that coach has in practice and seems to allow you guys, if not every coach says go out and dunk the ball as hard as you can and have a dunk contest in pregame, <laughs> how does that really rally you guys when you get in the game? Yeah, it really gets us going. You know, we just always want to come out to a great start and just having fun and warm-ups and getting really warm helps us out a lot. Now, Sam said he could beat you in horse. Do you think that we can try that out? <laughs> or a dunk contest. <laughs> yeah, if I get the four-foot rim out there. Leland, 22 points, 13 rebounds. Next up, you guys are going to Hawaii. That's not an easy trip. What are you looking forward to about the islands, aside from hopefully getting W? I mean, I've never been to Hawaii, so, you know, that's going to be a good Ooh. trip for me. Uh, that's part of their distraction. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, you know, we're going to be focused up on that game, and, you know, we got to make sure we keep going strong in league and uh, get that win. What's well, the first thing you're going to do when you're there? That's what I want to know. Well, Coach is hoping it's practice. Yeah, exactly. That, that's yeah. all up to Coach P right there. <laughs> when, when Coach says you have some free time and you're in Honolulu, what does Leland King do? Uh, honestly, you know, I haven't figured that out yet. I probably need to look that up, <laughs> do something about it. That. It's gorgeous down there, by the way. Yeah. We're hoping we get that assignment, too, by the way. Just putting it out there. 65-57, uh, the final score. First win for your coach in Big West play. How big is that to give that to him? He's turned this program around very quickly, but how much are you guys playing for him right now? I mean, you know, we all have a close relationship as far as players and coaches. We all want to win for each other. You know, one thing about Coach Pasternak, you know, he really wants this for us, you know. so And that that's, does a great job in our locker room when you have a coach that wants to win for you especially, and, you know, that does a lot for us. So, you know, to go out there, get the W for him, and then for us, it's just a great job. You know, all we want to do is get the W. You're the conference's leading rebounder. You're top three in scoring. Keep up the good work. We look forward to watching you throughout it. the year. Thank you, thank you. Leland King, 22 points, 13 rebounds tonight, and a big 65-57 win for UC Santa Barbara here at the Thunderdome over UC Riverside. Gouchers now 12-4 overall, 1-1 one one in Big West Conference play, and we'll be seeing more from them later on down the line. Richie, final thought? Terrific basketball game. Cutting the nets down in March is in reach for UC Santa Barbara. For my broadcast partner, Richie Schuler, and our entire staff, I'm Sam Barber saying it's been a pleasure and a privilege. Big win tonight. Gautos by eight.